Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another edition here of the Brilliantly Dumb Show. You got Mikey V in the house, because why wouldn't you have Mikey V in the house? And you have Giuseppe D coming in onto the house as well with a brand yeah. new cup of tea. Little wow. Earl Gray, a little Earl Grey there, Joseph. <laughs> wow. Settle those nerves now and come along with Jasmine Pearl or something. Oh, I don't know. Sure. Michael, yep. you, you wore the living shit out of that shirt and hat combo. No, I didn't. NASCAR. I, wore, I, wore, I wore it in the living room one day, this shirt. That's it. Is that sucker wash? Because it was quite the day that we had to just... That that's thing got it. Some <laughs> the, the, day, the day of sitting on the couch and fucking ordering Chinese food? That some, day? Sometimes that's when you're at your smelliest. Just ask Joey D. That thing's seen some reps, man. My <laughs> yeah. goodness. Oh, man, dude. That thing's going to have mothballs <laughs> crawling through it pretty soon. <laughs> I wore this shirt for half a day on the couch, dude. That's it. So maybe your memories need a little help. Maybe you need that thing should be ball. aired outside for a that's, couple that's of a days. Nasty, I, got another, right? I got another thing you could air outside for a couple of days, Go ahead. Oh, but I'm not going to get into it. All right? Go ahead. No, no, no. I'm whoa, good. Whoa. I, didn't come, I didn't come on this show to take pot shots. I came on to record a good podcast. I'm showing my support for the great American race. Thank you to NASCAR. What a race tonight. Two crashes. <laughs> fucked it up. It was a legendary 500 before that. Our guy, William Byron, uh, comes That's out as the winner name. 500. Not, yeah, it is. It, it's not, well, no, it's not William, William Byron. Byron. No, it's William no, it's, Byron. No, it's yes, not. It's Burton. It's, it's Burton. It's Burton. It's <laughs> Byron, Bob. It's Burton. Bob, it's Byron. Come on, Mikey. It's I'm Burton. Dead. Go check. Bob, it, the Bob. guy who won the by the guy who won is not our is not Burton, Bob. Oh, I'm talking about our guy. No, I'm saying the guy who won is William Byron. And by the way, our guy's name is not William Burton either. So that's it's Matt. It's, it, it, it's 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 not Burton. Matt. It's not Matt. Harrison. Not Matt Harrison. Harrison. It's Harrison. Harrison. No, all apologies I'm, to Harrison. I'm here. That's ter- I'm, that's I'm here. I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm hand It up. was Har- It was Harrison Burton and Todd Gillian. William Byron won the Daytona 500. It just ended literally seconds ago. I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, hands up. As you should. As you should. Hands be. up. I tell Mikey to put his hand up, but that old stinker he's got on his on that shirt. Right my, my fog up the lens of that laptop. How about Joe correcting you on the guy's name? No, no, no. It's Matt Burton. Matt Burton. No, I, I, wrong on that I said, one. I, I, said, I said Harrison. I changed it. We, I met the guy yesterday for the first time. It's not like Saturday. Not yesterday. Two days. I mean, what are we doing here? No, I'm correct. I'm, 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 I'm making sure that people understand what actually goes on. We're not as here to mince to meat, pretzel. Dude. <laughs> to mince meat, dude. Dude, where did you come from, man? Honestly, like I know Canada, but not like Jupiter. Like you were. You never heard that saying. We're not here to mince and meat. No, I've heard we're not here to mince words. I've never heard of mince meat. I mean, I know what mince meat is, but I never heard of that saying. No, I got to be honest, I never have. Yeah, this guy. Did, did you double bag that tea? By the way, is that a double yeah, it's, bag? It's, it's, a, it's a. I think it's a jasmine pearl and chamomile. It's <laughs> chamom- <Yeah>. chamomile. <laughs> nice. Hey, two tea bags, one cup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this, no, he's this great. Kid. I will say that might low key be one of the better show starts to the brilliantly dumb show we've ever had. We got a lot to unpack, but before anything, warm round of applause for the fellas. Warm round of applause for this show. That is real, real hot right now. And it's it's a beautiful thing. Um, we were just in Daytona uh, where, if we're being quite frank, we did nothing. We did absolutely nothing. Now, we contributed to the organization, I believe. I think our videos I and everything. We did a lot. Well, let's unpack that a little bit, Joseph, because the first day we were supposed to golf with the drivers got rained out. So we ended up going go-karting. That was a blast. Where we met the one and only William Burton, dear friend of the pod, one of our favorite racers. Harrison out. Burton. Harrison, Bob. Harrison. Harrison. <laughs> Damn, dude. All right. All right. Harrison Burton dear, and Todd Gillian. Dear That's friend. Of, dear friend of the pod. Um, K, we went to K1 and, and we raced with them, which was a blast. Um, uh, really was. I, I It's just a lot of fun. And these things go really fast. I mean, this isn't your normal go karts. Mikey decided to opt out with the the, the <laughs> fused bag that that he's got. So Mikey, and I will be honest. At first, I'm like, how how come Mikey's not getting in the car? I thought it's because maybe well, a Bobby, size you wouldn't thing. Have fit in there. 
there. There you go. Well, that was one thing, but it wasn't that. Like, I'll cram in, but I was really honestly, like, I saw some of the hits you guys took on that track. Totally. Bro, like, that could have really fucked myself up. I, I just can't. I just can't do that right now. Hopefully in you another know, month, like, I'll see, you know, in, uh, hopefully another month or so, I'll be good. But Harrison um, at the, and the, the NASCAR drivers didn't take it easy on us either. They were no. bumping us. And I'll be honest with you, Mikey, I took a shot out of the gate where I hit the – with the fender or, or whatever you call it. And yeah. I, I understood not going. It it hurt. Perez's body gave out where he just moved into the right hand lane and started to let people pass after he was having a great start. Well, you, you have to understand, like we were in those guys. That, I mean, that's their domain. The track is their domain. And let me tell you something. People recognized us at that track, but the majority of people there had no idea who we were and they knew exactly who those two guys were. Uh -huh. Obviously they were there for the Daytona 500. They recognized those guys instantly. There's no way those guys were going to take it easy on you. There was just it never a world where they were going to like, take it easy on you. And it, I asked the, I asked the, the, the inverse question, I guess would be, it'd be like, if you guys took them out golfing, like if you golf with them, would you take it easy on them with the cameras rolling? I would say, no, you shouldn't. I would say, uh, no, you shouldn't. I don't think we could take it easy on anybody. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know. I don't we'd know. We'd be if we'd fighting have for our lives. <laughs> yeah, but these guys like if they, yeah, but if these guys never golf though, Joe, you guys golf a lot more often than 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 you know guys who don't golf like all the time. You know, so yeah, that's that's fair. If that's these fair. guys shoot a hundred regularly, like that could be embarrassing when you guys are shooting in the eighties or the nineties. If we have a good day in the eighties, yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's some bad days Mikey. in the nineties, Michael. Okay, Mikey, right. we're. We're pretty bad. Man. I thought you guys were like consistently high 80s. I'm normal. Bad. I'd say, well, Bob, yeah, I'm just as bad as you. Hey, we're we're bad, Joe. We're pretty bad. We, we are. We are probably <laughs> without question, like the worst golfers within the YouTube golf space. <laughs> totally. Oh, we're we're definitely, we're definitely, we're definitely like in contention. Like I, okay. I'd say that we're up there. Yeah. Okay. But that being said, Bob, we, we do put. From time to time, we put some good rounds together. Shot just... an 84 at TPC Scottsdale. But, Stroke that's play. That's a great score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, but, well, and no but, mulligans. The, the, no point mulligans. Was, the point here was is that there was just never going to be a world where these two guys weren't going to go balls to the wall. In those no, guys. they they were, they just were making it very clear, too, that they weren't going to let us just. One guy, the, the, Harrison said that if he, if he had lost, he would have lost his job. He would have had to look for a new job. Well, you know, Todd Todd bashed into me. I almost got whiplash. Because he said no, no, no bumping. So I was trying to be mindful of that. If I'd go back and do it, I'd bump a fucking crazy. Like I, I would start wow. bumping. People. Yeah, there's have... bumping going on like crazy, man. They threatened that we might. If there's a lot of bumping that you could get removed from the track. They were never going to do that. They were never. Gonna I wish that. I knew that now. Yeah, they... I, I, I mean, they, they weren't. I mean, that would have been insane. Go kart it... place kicks NASCAR drivers off the fucking. Oh, oh, that I thought you were going to say they weren't going to bump us because they were. No, no, I'm bump. saying what Joe said. The girl oh, did give the dude. girl from K1 was like she was really given the 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 tenth degree of rules before you guys got in the car because she hurt. was she was reading down the list and she did make that uh, uh, an adamant point that if you if you bumped there was a chance you get removed. I don't think that would have ever happened. Oh, I agree. There were so when's many the flags. Time? Black well, flag, blue flag, flag green flag, flag, checker flag, red flag. When's, when's the last time that place had had guys who are going to race in the Daytona 500 the next day racing a go kart? You know, like you're going to throw them off. I don't. Buy I was, I, I was thinking, like, by the way, so these these carts they go 45 miles per hour. No, they were a, legit, dude. It's a tight track, so 45 miles per hour might not seem like much, but it's a tight track. It's not like a big open. You're 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 swerving and and they they laid some shots. Um. With that being said, Harrison Burton, our guy who we decided to bet on within the first five minutes of Daytona, had to leave because he got into an accident. Um, it was but within I'm, five minutes, it was. It was. Yeah, it was early. It was early. early. Yeah, it was early. It was, it was quick it was into. But I'm. He's watching, okay though. I believe he's okay. Good. Which is the but most important thing. By the way, what a great guy. I mean, we 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 really had a ball with them. But yeah, that was tough to see. But I'm watching them, and you know they were going at it with each other. It was like watching two fighter pilots maneuver each other and the whiplash that Burton got on one of them I'm watching I'm like how the fuck are these guys it would be like Mahomes playing flag football before the Super Bowl yeah yeah I, that was a good that was a good point I, I was surprised that they do let them do that without any like recourse that is interesting yeah I, that's a good analogy um yeah I, I I feel like it's like 
allowing like Kawhi Leonard to play in a pickup basketball game the day before. Well, the it was a finals. pivot. It was a pivot due to an act of God. Yeah, but still, that, like these guys, like Mahomes has it written in his contract where it's like he can't do X, Y, Z or anything. No, I know, but sword. I'm saying initially we were supposed to golf with them, and then the rain just completely derailed the entire weekend. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, as you may know. Probably from listening to this episode, the Brilliant Dumb Show is brought to you by NASCAR and Better Health 400 at Atlanta Motor Speedway Sunday, February 25th, 3 p.m. Eastern on Fox. Coming in hot. You got the star drivers. You got Chase Elliott. You got Ryan Blaney, Ross Chastain, Danny Hamlin, Bubba Wallace. A lot of people in the race Fun time to be a part of NASCAR. We're big on NASCAR. If you are sitting down on your couch Sunday, February 25th, you are in damn good hands. NASCAR, you can't go wrong. Special sport. Special sport. What took place with Joey D on the track? And I a lot of times I have a good idea if if Joe really believes something or not. Like, for example, oh, I'll, no, he's I'll, I'll play him in Madden and I'll work him and he'll actually like yell at the controller or like blame the game. Like, and he's like dead serious when he's doing it. But I know deep down that he knows that that's not the case. But after the results came in of the race, what took place? And, and you, you tell it from your end because you really saw it. But I really do believe that Joe thinks he was shafted by the race. And was, he was pissed. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay, was, so here, host. here's what I could tell you. Uh, obviously, I was I was commentating on the whole race, so I watched the whole race. They had a live leaderboard, an LED board on the track that gave up to up to the lap updates of who was in first, second, that third, thing fourth, needs to be all recalibrated. The through, <laughs> all the way through six, Joe was in six. He was in last. I told him I was like, Joe, you're in last. He's like, No, 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 no. That's <laughs> wrong. I go, No. I go, That's the board. I go, It's legit. No. No, and then he he claims. Now these are his claims. And I'll list them as as they were given to me. Number one, his car was shut down involuntarily while he was on the track, and he wasn't able to get it back up. They shut him down for what reason? We still don't know. No, they Number shut two. everybody down because Bob couldn't get out of the gates. That's because okay. my 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 car didn't okay. work. So everybody was then, shut down. Is that then, not true? Yes, then, I had to change cars, but everybody so was stopped. So that's a that's so that's a true claim. Right out of the gates. But that didn't then, affect your... It did. Then I was told that Bob received a, a booster car because <laughs> it was well, a rigged no, race. That, that, okay, so you don't believe that, right? I don't think he got a booster car, but I do think that, you know, they paused, they stopped us again in order to aid Bob to to, to proceed past everyone else. Okay. Oh, so okay. ridiculous. Keep going, Mikey. Okay, so then the race concluded, and I told him, you know, I was like, you know, you finished in last, and he, he was not, he was not accepting that as as re, as reality. And I said, I'm just going by with the LED board that's been updating. Bro, sets. I lapped Perez. How was it possible that I came last? Because Perez was Perez. driving like Perez was driving like Jeff Gordon for the first ten I minutes understand of the race, that, but I but I lapped him. If right, you yeah, lap somebody, you don't Perez, come last. You don't come last if you lap somebody else. I think Perez had gone. I think Perez had, may have lapped everyone in the very beginning. Yes, he was like he a did. bat out of hell. He and did. then halfway through the race, he just died. Halfway through the race, he just gave his, up. He stopped. His body gave turn, out. Couldn't turn the steering wheel anymore. So he's that he just he just <laughs> tapped out in the middle. I've never seen anything like it. Like, <laughs> like if I, I the best <laughs> analogy I could give is like if if like a, a boxer, like their corner just throws the towel in. <laughs> he just threw the towel in, in on mid-track and he just stopped. He was like he that guy like who fought Mike that. Tyson, that white guy. The the ring sure. they threw the threw the, the towel in because the he didn't get killed. Yeah. Yep. Yep. He he. Re it, it, by it. the way, Mikey put a video out on Instagram for NASCAR that's hysterical. But Ticket and, and Bone have the footage from uh, K1, and I, I we were deciding whether or not we should play it. Now that we're talking about, we should play it. Watching Perez drive around that track in the little go-karter, you could hear from my audio, 
my audio is hysterical because I thought it was the funniest thing when I would be behind one of them and you don't know who it is. And then you see their body. It's like we were playing Mario Kart. And then when like you turn yeah, Perez the corner, was definitely Bowser. Yeah, you yeah, you like yeah. <laughs> or Donkey or Donkey Kong. I would have been war. I would have been Wario. Yeah, you're probably. Wario. Yeah. 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 I, it was one of the funniest things I, I think I, I have ever seen. Um, but a blast nonetheless. Uh but but after the code carding, Daytona got shut down. So we literally did nothing but eat and we got our videos out we did everything nascar asked us to do we loved working for nascar very, successful. Videos did great. very, very successful very successful the videos did great we want to work with nascar again um with that being said if we're calling spade spade we sat on that couch and we ate more food than you could possibly imagine. And and the bottom line is fellas in all seriousness we talk about it all the time we got to make a change because what took place this weekend in the food department was despicable. You are you, but you are the, you are one of the main, if not the main culprit, Bob. I am not by any means excluding me out of, whoa, oh, okay. what? Okay. Well, okay. I, I am absolutely one so of the you're saying, But that the we needing to make a change is a complete collective. Of course. Okay. I ate okay. every single okay. calorie that, of course, Joseph, yeah. go ahead. Um, I have to, I have to be honest. I think that Michael was a massive contributor to the bad decisions that happened in terms of food this weekend. I'm not saying I wasn't. <laughs> you were one of the worst. <laughs> he was pretty bad. Dude, you were talking about getting ice cream before we ordered dinner. It's fair. Yeah, you were I in know. the well, restaurant. The we hadn't ordered entrees. You're like, I could really go for one of those taco waffles tonight. Yeah, well, how good were those tacos? Those waffles? are great. Those are great. Anyway, they, they, yeah, but Joe, you're right about the ice cream. I had all eyes on. I've eaten ice cream now for four nights in a row. So oh. that has to give. Something has to give there. Um, that will stop. It'll cease tonight. That'll be it. And then we'll clean slate it tomorrow. But your suggestion yesterday was one of the was one of the worst ever. You said, Michael, I've got my eyes on Chinese. And once you said Chinese, you gave the Chinese wreck. That's a tough wreck for me to get away from. But I don't think we went crazy with it. Like we shared a thing of rice Chill. and I had a soup. I had Chill. a soup. I had a dump. Soup. Just, no, but we have no was, business. We have no business eating Chinese for lunch. Like we just have no business doing that. Not, after I thought it was a, I thought it was a magical. Oh, play. I thought it was great. It was, but Joe, I thought it was great. We did, and the day before, Bob, I ordered a salad. You Joe, did order a salad. You do order, I order a salad. salad. <laughs> you order, and I didn't have ice cream last we, night. It, it, well, it was. So there were some conscious decisions. Mixing with a lot of bad ones, but there were some conscious decisions on my part. Wasn't it a salad with a bowl of chili? No, I had a Greek no, salad. No, that was in that was I had in a Arizona. giant Greek salad that was in Arizona. And in Arizona, you guys had Wendy's, and I had he had a, a taco, taco salad, salad with the chili. and I had a, we, and a bowl of chili. But, but, but so I'm making had, some small, some small victories. We we had Wendy's the first night that we got oh, to Daytona. Oh my god! Well, yeah, there was a lot of other bad decisions, and I won't. But I'm saying that at least, at least I had the wherewithal a couple of times throughout the trip to like err on the side of caution. Well, I will say Whereas the guy below me was was balls to the wall. Wow. Wow. Michael, what do you have to say to yourself? I mean, I kind of enjoyed him just being I a said, glutton I, because I, I normally mean. he's like the only subs cardio <laughs> king and he's a Peloton <laughs> master and all this. So it was kind of nice to see him let loose a little bit. <laughs> he's absolutely he, was, right. he was a poster boy for gluttony this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just dis- you can't deny it Michael. no Whoa. i'm not but like i i really do feel as though we all shared in that but yeah, yeah I we, did. we I, did i, I, was, yeah, I we... was making i was i was campaigning heavy for i was campaigning for ice cream like they were running for the presidency this year the like, ice there's cream no, there's no doubt about it i just the, was the ice you cream are... and then go ahead bob Oh no! Something that he kept pushing for, which, which by pushing for this, it opens the floodgates to the other options that we landed on, and we never ended up going with this. He pushed Burger King left, right, and center. Now, is that yeah. because he was in the industry for some time and wanted to support Burger King? Possibly. Possibly. He's a loyal guy. He's a loyal guy. When we sat there the last night, it it was first off, it was a blast of a trip. If you sit in that living room with that crew. And you let Joe do his thing. 
he will have you. I, I, I laughed for three days straight, just being in that living room together and all hanging out. It, it, it was when Joey D's on, it's one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my you life. Just put it. You could put a camera in that living room and let it run. Obviously you'd have to do a little bit of clipping and editing here and there, but <laughs> you could let that run. And I really feel as though that would just, just watching us eat and, and gamble all day would be an unbelievable program. It's hysterical. Um, it, we might so die. We would die within like a couple of years, I would think <laughs> people, but still good. Still yeah. Good. We, 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 at the end, at the end of the last night, I just, I don't know why, but I put a list together of what we ate from the time we arrived in Daytona and Mikey tweeted this today and <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's hard to see you ready for this. We get to Daytona, Wendy's, <laughs> ice cream, all Postmates, McDonald's, breakfast, for breakfast, sub sandwiches for lunch, Jeez. full steak dinner with all the trimming, seafood platter, lobster mac and cheese. That was a Great. sensational dinner. Fantastic. Fantastic. Great dinner. Great, Great, dinner. Dinner. <laughs> Great dinner. Great dinner. That was one of the better seafood platters I've ever had because there was no bullshit on the platter. It was no, loaded to the tits. I <laughs> love you. Shout out, shout out Ruth Chris Steakhouse Ruth Chris. because every steakhouse should follow suit with the design of the seafood tower. There's no, there was no clams, no. no Mikey, the photo you put on your Instagram today was incredible. You had the aerial view. Yeah, down one of the at few the pictures I took. One of the few pictures I that took. was. It was. Uh, I did, it looked better than I even remember. What do you mean? We got yeah. a ton of. I, we got a ton of pictures. No, Bob, did you see? I no, captured an aerial shot of it. Oh, you see a story? Really nice. I'll tell you. Really I, nice. I think Ruth Chris, we spent $150 on that seafood platter. I think they might have lost money on that platter. As crazy I as think that they, sounds. Bro, I, I, I swear to you, there had to be five it lobster tails on there. Alaskan king crab coming out of your ears. Uh, two ramekins, big ramekins, full to the brim with lump crab cocktail meat. Jumbo shrimp hanging off of it. And like I said at the beginning, no muscles, no clams. And I'm not knocking those things. I'm just saying when you're substituting a clam on the half shell out for Alaskan King crab, sure. you're a big dog. That's a big dog move. Bear. And we didn't tell them to do that. That's no. just what it came out. Michael's plate looked like he'd scraped the ocean floor clean. Of Boy, did he get. Let me tell you something. <laughs> it was stacked. Look, look, look like, look like, look like, look like a wasteland. Fucking, look like all... I dug up uh, King Triton's fucking graveyard. <laughs> Yeah, there was, yeah. and then I looked at Bob. Bob had almost every piece of Alaskan king crab. That's that was, not oh, fair. He's I don't think the king that. Crab. Oh, <laughs> the king crab. Oh, oh yeah. I, I looked at one point. I was like, I thought there was a last. I was like, I thought there was a Alaskan king crab on here. Bob's like, Oh yeah, there's one here. There's like one smidgen of a, of a thing. Fair. And I look over. This guy's got <laughs> it. Looked like <laughs> a fucking. Grab just crawled onto his plate. There was yes. limbs and legs yes. everywhere. He was attacking that king oh, crab. Yeah, they <laughs> oh, the succulent. <laughs> oh, the Andrea Gale. The perfect storm. You I'll tell you, man. The it, sweet it, crab. If I had a, a last meal, I think you give me king crab. I could put king crab down for hours and yeah, hours. Yeah, we saw this yeah. weekend. I, I mean, but Joe, I had nothing on Mikey's plate. Mikey's no, no, plate. You didn't. Mike, not wait, only, wait, wait. not only. Mikey's plate this was guy, so, by the way, got, and if Mikey's got, plate was so bad that he gave it to the server and he's like, that wasn't all mine. By the way, he had, yeah. had to preface it. I had to Joe, say something. Not only did he Someone take that ate one. a lobster tail and put the shell back onto the put ice. The shell Someone on did that. Yeah. Someone did that. It wasn't me because I kept it on my plate. Like, a Why don't you just Someone, leave it on the ice? Then? That was you. That was you. you was I that you, Joey hand. D? I, you just it raised might your have been hand. Me. Was that it you, Joey been. D? It was Joey it might, D. It might, it might, it might it have been Joey me. D. But what, why, would you it it off the, why would you take it off the ice? I t you take the whole tail off the ice. You take the meat out. You put the empty tail on your plate. You don't put an empty tail back on the presentable tower. It's so nice looking. Well, the tower was well, I took ownership of it. Joe. And then I did look like a slob. I look like I, I look like a fucking... I don't that know. one, that one lobster tail didn't make the difference. Joe, Michael. you know where you know where you could have put no, it that no. had plenty of room. Where? How about how about a Mikey's how about a Mikey's master bedroom that he took? Oh, 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 oh. That thing. This guy oh, looked like absolute. <laughs> Whoa! You know what? I, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad he took the master. He deserves yeah, the master. So yeah, so he doesn't come on okay, many man. of these. Here's trips. An, this is another. Yeah, that, this is another. Mikey, can I just tell you something? 
palace I, this guy was living in, man. Bob, I used wow. that shower this morning because he because by the way, the guy had left at the fucking the guy left at the oh. crack of dawn. Well, guy left at, <laughs> so I went I went into his shower this morning because I've been using that side little shit shower. Yeah, this same. thing was a rain waterfall. And it was a nice shower. I stayed in there an extra five minutes. It was unbelievable. Yo, real nice shower. You know what that means, oh, Joe? My. Next trip, he's up for a nice old bang job. I I want to let me can I, let me just say, this is a pre this is another classic pretzel job. First of all, we all walked into the house. We all met at the airport. Perez drove us to the Airbnb. No one got there before anyone else. We all walked upstairs at the same time. We were all walking the hallway, look at the rooms, the master room. I said, I'm not taking the master guy. Somebody else take the. No, Mikey, you take it. No, Mikey, you take it. I Mikey already selected Masters, my room. Mikey I'd Masters, already, take it, take I'd it. I said, no, I don't small want little it. room off to the corner. I then, the but don't make it sound like I like fucking ran up to the room and I was like shotgun masters. I didn't. I didn't say that. I just said you were living like Tony Montana the last time. <laughs> not like Bob in Arizona. I could tell you that. Oh, that's oh, a different that trip. Was, yeah, that's that a was a different trip. trip. Oh yeah, that's a different trip. That could have been Rick. That could have been Rick Ross's bedroom for all we knew. <laughs> <laughs> that nice. thing had its own area code. Bob Michael. just walks out of the bedroom. And goes, Whoa. He's just saying, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Ricky Ross, Rose. I, at least you guys had your own bath. I had to share a bathroom with Perez, connecting bathrooms. We never knew when you opened that door what you're going to open up to. That's, just, that's kind of scary. That was me and Scotty in Arizona. Me and, uh, did, and you Scotty. Scotty. Sure. did you and Scotty? Did you and Scotty share yeah, rooms? Scotty, yeah, Scotty's a much different beast than Perez. That's wow. also true. That's oh, also true. Yeah. Perez took a shit at one point. He said, nobody go within a mile of that <laughs> He had all those hostess donuts. I night. will say, to be completely honest. Oh, that was that, that was, was crazy. Wild. <laughs> that that was, was wild. <laughs> I mean, uh, Mikey there, saw there a snippet into what goes on what a in a Bob the Sports trip, and there, I think he was <laughs> his mind was blown. At one point, in front of Perez, there was a court, a court, which court. is you got to watch the YouTube. If you're listening on audio, you got to go over to YouTube, subscribe to the YouTube to see what I'm talking about. The court is this big; it's like the size of a human head. Now he says that's the only size <laughs> they had. I'm going to believe him because I'm a great guy and a great friend, and I believe him. He's an honest guy. He's a great guy. I'll believe him. Quart of soft-serve vanilla ice cream with cookie dough bites littered throughout the ice cream. In front of him, a bottle of NyQuil and a bag of Hostess powdered donuts <laughs> about this big. Now, when we were in the 7-Eleven prior to going to the Airbnb, we wanted to pick up cases of water. We walked past the section with the donuts and everything. And all you see, I'm behind Perez, and all you see, his head just <laughs> fucking snaps. He just goes, ooh. <laughs> just like, ooh. And man, oh man, was he polishing those puppies off like it, like they were croutons. He looked at me at one point, I'm like, Chris. Oh, yeah, he's not lying. I looked at him at one point, I was like, he's like, oh, I intend to eat every single one of these tonight. Dude. Yo, dude, it was wild. It, it was scary. Scary. But I, then again, I could eat like it that. It was also so impressive. I, I know, that's why it scares me. It was also impressive. Yeah, it was. It in, was. in a weird way. Folks, we interrupt the Brilliant Dumb Show to let you know that the Brilliant Dumb Show is brought to you by the fine folks over at AG1. I'm telling you right now, Athletic Greens is the real deal. I take it every single morning. Every single morning, I'm suiting up with the one, the only, Athletic Greens. It's just one scoop mixed in water once a day, every day. It makes me feel energized, helps your gut health, and does it all. Do the right thing. Knock down some AG1 today. You can't go wrong. If there's one product I had to recommend to elevate your health, it's AG1, and that's why I've partnered with them for so long. So if you want to take ownership of your health, start with AG1. Try AG1 and get a free one-year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 and five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase exclusively at drinkag1.com slash dumb. That's drinkag1.com slash dumb. You cannot go wrong. Start your day right. Take care of your health. Take ownership of your health with the fine folks over at AG1 Athletic Greens to the Moon. Bob, I woke up this morning at 5.30 in the morning to the sound of Michael walking down. I looked outside. He had a driver in a black tux. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In a I, black tux. This guy man. acted like he That's, was getting escorted to and, the White House. And by the way, he got it on the way in. And think about it. 
NASCAR oh, gave oh. us an allowance. If you don't think that that puts a dent into the allowance, well, that, good that thing I wasn't. I I wasn't. But, but, I didn't well, get a ride. Thing. I didn't get a ride in. You didn't have a driver no, on the way in. He came with us. He came with us. Bob, we went together in the fucking in the rental car. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. But how about? <laughs> but how about? I, and if you think I'm trying, that's a write off. Second of all, it's a write off, <laughs> and I am not going to use that against the the traveling expense. Uh, you should. For- it's part of your traveling. No, expense. I don't want to. We want to. We want to save room on that. Mikey, uh, Mikey, Mikey. No, I don't think you uh, can get the meals. Uh, Joe. Well, but that that being said, I do think I do think that I only spent like three hundred and eighty dollars for train oh, rides. Thank you. So Joe. there there was some wiggle oh, see, room. Joe takes the train. Meanwhile, Joe's this- Joe's the real conservative now. All of a sudden, he's getting, yeah, Mister Mister No. I didn't even go tree. first class oh, both God. ways. Right, right. Simple guy, simple guy. Yeah, I said no. No, I said no to the. I said no to the sandwich car. Scooter. He took an e-scooter up to Daytona Bob, from West said, Palm. That's what he Bob, did. I said no to the sandwich car just out of sheer respect. <laughs> <laughs> what, what a but Mikey, you know what was crazy to me is that Go you ahead. had a 9:30 flight and you picked it's not a 9:30 flight. It was not a 9:30 flight. Bob nine, said nine, it's nine o'clock flight. Nine o'clock. Okay, nine so, o'clock. Same thing. Same thing. Nine a.m. flight. You took a 5:30 a.m. By the way, there's got to be nobody on the road. It had to take you 45 minutes to get oh, to the airport. Bro, it took an hour, an hour and 10 minutes for this guy. Okay, so you were there at 6.40 for a yeah, 9 a.m. flight. No, the, guy was dri- the guy was driving an expedition the size of a fucking Sprinter van. No, That's another. No this is a, no stop for gas man. on the way He's home. Let me t- yeah, you you get- <laughs> oh, Bob, it was a luxury. Was this is really? a pretzel. What? This is what? another pretzel. <laughs> I, Bob, it was like sheer black, and I looked this out. Is- I just saw a tank out there. It was a fucking behemoth. <laughs> yeah, was the guy in a full tux? He was in a tux. No, he was in a suit. He was in a okay, suit. suit. Black suit, tux. Yeah. What's the difference? It's such, a tie on. it's such, you know, it's such a New Jersey thing for this guy <laughs> to do to book a driver. Like, he did the same thing in Arizona. Just call a fucking Uber. Like, no. it's such a new... This guy, you would have thought... Why would I do that if I'm right? That's an expense you, I can you, write off. You, Why would I do that? You would have thought that Joe Pesci was in the back of this fucking car, man. Oh, I Joe mean, this is the most ridiculous Dude, thing. Try Woodrow Wilson, Bob. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't have an entourage with some fucking bulletproof cars ahead of him just you to know, take the guys. You guys, you've been with me now for two weekends in a row, multiple days. Do you see how uncomfortable I am in everyday situations with my size? You see yeah. how oh, it is? Oh, don't yeah. know. But, yeah. but Mikey, you could book yeah. an XL. You could book the XL, book XL. The SUV. That ends up costing you just as much as booking this in advance, dude. I'm telling you. And I, it's a I, write-off. I, I, the, guy yeah, the guy in the suit had to be worth more. Yeah, of course. Guy the guy's suit putting really his nice. suit off. I really bet nice. he was. I bet he was. Really nice, yeah. dude. And that, that was a climate controlled vehicle. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh yeah. that thing had its own fucking. was really nice in there. And this is the story with why I, I with arrived so early at the airport, breakfast. because I'm not going to just let you guys just make up stories like I just decided to go to the airport. I don't travel as much as these guys. And the day we flew in, Perez tells me, he looks at me, he goes, oh, Mike, yeah. he's like, listen, You're right. he's like, this airport is the worst airport in terms of getting now Orlando. This is the worst Disney World. This is the worst airport for getting through security. It takes a long, long time to get through security. He goes, this is a minimum. This is a direct quote from Perez. This is a minimum two hour before your flight airport. That's what he said. I arrived at 640. Now, granted, that's two hours and 20 minutes before my flight. Okay, 20 minute cushion. It's a domestic flight. But he didn't specify that. He Mikey. just said security. He's scared. He's no. He did. He scared he did. the Jesus out he of did. Michael. Yeah, he we got it. Yeah. We got it. <laughs> we got it. Did the you car. get breakfast at the airport? What did you have at the airport? Oh, breakfast on the plane. Oh, oh he, had bre- bre- he had breakfast oh. on the yeah, plane. Yeah, because he had he had first class. <laughs> yes, seats. he did. And he on had the way, a pod, Bob. By the way. I had the way, pod on the way back. Not on the way back. On, on the, the way other, down. Other. This guy's I, I had pod, fucking had pod. sesame noodles on the way down. Oh, a my. Job. I turned down the oh, sandwich my. part. This guy had this guy had champagne chauffeurs. I didn't have champagne. No. I didn't have champagne. No. I had bourbon. I'm telling you right oh. now, it looked I like I think it was top shelf. Yo, these noodles, yeah. these noodles, honest to God. It, it looked like he was on an Emirates flight. It he wasn't it was your nose. What was the airline? United. Okay, United. United, United Paris. 
United is good. Uh, yeah, Bob, you also, with the pod. Bob, you also with the pod. Just, just, just to call out a spade. Bob yeah, also go ahead, John. Go ahead. This guy, this guy, this guy is no stranger to a first class seat on no, an airplane. No, he's not. No, he's not. This guy nice. was this this no, guy, this guy they call, they, call Bobby, they call him Bobby Concords. Oh, let me tell you something, Michael. If this guy's not in the first three rows of an airplane, he ain't on it. That's not true. <laughs> he's a group, he's a group one I, guy. There's he's a group multiple one guy. times one, where I have one. walked by him and then he's got the phone. He's recording me walk by him through first class and just banging me at the same time. Let me tell you Listen, something. I will never let me let me say this and let me say this now. If there's ever a place where you should not be shamed to spend money, it's on an airplane because the traveling experience is so miserable on an airplane. If you fly coach, everyone who flies coach out there knows it. I'm a guy who flies coach still. If I go to certain places with my family, it is a miserable. I don't care what you say, especially if you're a bigger individual. It is a miserable. I'm a big guy. Awful experience if that's where i want to spend some of my money that's what i'm gonna i want to be comfortable dude i don't like flying to begin with number one number two i go into the bathroom i have to fucking break my back to take a leak you took the picture I mean, again just, it was pretty funny i take a picture every time because it's comical because it's a joke there's been nothing is, done to is. change it well the planes are small man they got a they joke gotta... joe just make the and, and, and by, by the way, for the people at home, I will say. Go ahead, this Bob. Go ahead, Bob. I know. Got I'm, I'm no, I, 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 I got to say something first because the people ahead, at home Joe. think we're go just ahead, banging Joe. them. We go. had a pretty good allowance in terms of we travel did. expenditures, and we for did. all intents and purposes, you should have used it because if you don't use it, you're not. It's going. It's if going. You don't the thin lose, air. use it. You lose it. That's true. Oh, we used it. We absolutely. Oh, I mean, this guy overused it. <laughs> He had, to, he had to dip into my personal fund and wake up on his back. Oh, he did. Oh, Ooh. he's talking to you. Oh, buddy. The, the limousine riding jet flying fucking that is, that that is so on first class for, man. Noodle eating fucking Michael. Noodle Lund. eating. Noodle eating. <laughs> Those are good noodles. Those are good noodles. Sesame you know soy. I felt like that was a healthy option, the, I, the cold I, sesame noodle. I Very sat 14C on the way back. Ooh. Um, yeah, 14C. That's um, tough. Now, now here. That's oh, uncharted territory uh, for Bob. Well, I was, I was aisle, so maybe it was, whatever, um, A, B, C. No, B. if you were on the left side of the plane, that's B. If you are on the other side, Z. I was on the aisle, a 14, a 14, it's either whatever. B or E. Okay. No. No. Yeah. No, there's three seats. No, there's three seats. Oh, right. So yeah, yeah. I'm C, sorry. I'm thinking about ABC. first class. First class is beery. That's my it's, oh. it's not because I'm <laughs> I'm the same way. That's where I, I spend my money on on Reina. I spend my money on travel. I really, really do enjoy food. that. Food. Food. And that's where I spend my money. And after that. Gambling losses. Unfortunately, yes. There's been a lot of them lately. Jesus. Jesus. Tough scene. Tough scene. Yeah. I get a call from my dad. <laughs> Every week after he's he's like, just do me a favor, tell me something. How much you lose? Don't tell me you're losing too much money on the gambling. I'm not, Dad. I know you're. I know you're listening. I I am not. I'm 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 stone cold. I'm stone cold. I'll say this, Mr. Burger. He he does not. He is not a a reckless a reckless wager. He's not. I've seen just a bad one. Not a reckless wager. If I'm wagering the same as Bob is, then Bob's fine. I mean, Bob is fine, and that's not to—that's not to, to to say anything. But I'm saying, he's but I feel like I Bob appreciate that, Mike, because he, he calls every week. You now, every you week. want to talk? You want to talk about a bombardier? <laughs> yeah. about this guy, this guy with the NASCAR hat on is a Yo, bomb. Oh, that's outrageous. <laughs> Yo. I was not placing big wagers at all. Joey Speaking. Nukes, oh, that's outrageous. That's yeah. a pretzel job. Oh, man. That's a pretzel. is he due <laughs> for a, a couple nukies on some wild games? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was. I I was uh, I was I was placing twenty dollar wagers on prize picks and you guys we're were not acting, talking we're about not the prize, prize picks. picks. No. By the I way, wasn't going nuke daddy this weekend. I the, didn't. Okay. By the way, okay. the Brill and the Dump Show brought to you by DraftKings. Starting right now, use promo code DUMB. It's going to be promo code DUMB. Bet $5, get a free $200 <laughs> in the <laughs> bonus bets. Now, $200 might not be enough to cover Joey Nukes, but no. it is something, no. and it is nice. Um I'll but, cover yeah. the first leg of his 18 parlay. That's about it. I will say this. 
Bob, for as good as everything is going, like Bob can do no wrong in regular life, like in the regular everyday living. When it comes to the world of sports, there is some kind of we we Who had an X? English yeah it, 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 it I don't want to say that to you, I don't want to speak it into existence. We were up two nothing in that soccer game within the first fourteen minutes of the game. Man United. We're Bob walks down within minutes. There is a goal, and from that point onwards, we were snake bit. Mike, it was, was the, it was almost that was like the, you, that was the first goal Luton Town had scored since October. Oh right? my God! It was like the writing was on the wall. <laughs> it was like the Bob walked down the stairs, and then the world just inverted, ah, and it I'm was goal. like. Look, man, I mean, I'm, was, I'm, I'm, oh. I honestly think I've spent so much time with Jet. I, I don't disagree. You're not necessarily wow. wrong. Yeah. Well, Jet's, Jet's even Jet's, worse. Jet's even, Jet's the worst. Jet's Jet the bet worst. on Shoffley and the poor guy got banged. He, I love that guy, man. He's blood to me. He's so bad. He, he's so bad. He, I started on Twitter, but the he hashtag thinks he's fade good. Jet. He thinks he's That's good. what bothers me. That's what bothers me. When you tell me I'm a mush, I'll be the first to tell you. That I'm a that I'm a mush. Yeah, you just gotta put your hand up. I mean, totally. that's all it is. He will defend it, and that drives me nuts because he stinks, and he shows up at my house every <laughs> fucking weekend, and all we do it's a, it's a golf is, when it's golf it's season. Just, it's it's we just lose money together <laughs> constant. We're just constant. When it's golf season, Yaman is right for the pick. He I tell stinks. you what, though. I tell you what, he's a handsome son of a bitch, though. Yes, he, wow. is. yes, he is. Yes, he absolutely is. Yeah, he texts me. He goes, I look great in that picture. I go, yeah, you really do look. I go, you look like yeah, an instructor looked... for Top Gun. You bang me and my AI. I look I, That wasn't me. That was the AI, though. No, he's, I, talking, I he's talking about the, the ice cream taco. No, I actually that think it was also better AI. than that one. In the one with on the one where I'm a NASCAR, I look like a dopey fuck. Let me see. Let me pull up. up. Look how stoned I look in this photo. Did did you see? It's a tough look. Look at that. (laughs) That is a that is a tough look. By the way, how insane how insane is Perez's bro? Yeah, he looks Scary. great. He Scary. looks great. He looks good. He looks good. Michael, huh? Michael, by the way, picked the best photo of him by oh, far. Oh yeah, he looks like he looks like a stallion. Yeah, like, I mean, you know what? Mike, show the show the photo of you in an AI one more time, please. Oh my! <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, Bob's that going, is oh, that's a far you, you, from you, this you, one, isn't you, it? You can go with that. You go. You can go with that. <laughs> <laughs> Now, you know what? Now, you know what? If my mom's watching and she's going to get upset, Ma, Ma, <laughs> ring the bell, he's out for the count. What time, what, what time was that picture count, taken, Bob? Bob? What time? You can check oh. the time stamp. What's the time stamp on that picture, Bob? And don't lie. 12, 12, 12.56 a.m. 12.56 a.m. Yeah. I, I was exhausted yeah. by that. There's point. our boy. There's our boy, Bernie, back at him for more. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Bernie. In the comfort of my own living room, Bob. <laughs> Look at Bernie. That's absurd. Hey, can I just say something? Even when he was passed out, he's still repping Daytona. That's yeah. a, that's that's a committed yeah. man, bro. Dude, I'm, <laughs> I, I'm all aboard NASCAR, bro. You I never watched NASCAR the whole before. race, didn't you? Yeah. Or if you are a racing house now, if you <laughs> have any type of ad deal, if I'm a company, if I'm a brand, and I want to get the biggest bang for my buck, uh, my first call is to Mikey V. He's going to deliver. Oh yeah. He's going to deliver time. Yeah, but you know why? I don't really have that many spaces open anymore now. I'm pretty, I'm pretty consumed. So now, you know, it's just if you got me, you got me now, and I'm all on board. But if you if you miss the boat, then then that's I don't know what I could tell you now because I'm I'm concentrating on who I'm with now, and that's it. That's it. I'm all Michael, on board. I'm all there's board. more boats to catch if somebody came yeah, and knocking. You're right. No, you're let's, right. You're let's right. call it how it no, is. You're right. Next up is NASCAR, and after them is well, I don't want to say her name anymore. I'm what about the say NFL? It. Oh, look at the Golden Arches. Say it. Say it. Oh, McD. Let's go get that back. Well, you've talked a lot of trash about McDonald's in the past, Michael. When? Maybe it oh. sparked. Maybe it sparked a fire. He said that they rested <laughs> on their laurels. <laughs> maybe it sparked a little fire, Joe. That's outrageous. Yo. We got to stop. We got to stop banging people on this pod. I'm realizing, man, because we're just going off left, you right, think and that center. Circulates? I do. You know when it really hit me was when um when NASCAR think... sponsored the Brilliant and Dumb show. No, no it was great. NASCAR loves us. We, and love we love NASCAR. NASCAR. No, but I'm saying that to me was a sign that we're moving up in the world here oh, with this podcast. Oh. Yeah, and oh. we got to be mindful of that. Sure. I agree. I agree. The Aaron Rodgers thing hit me when um. 
I, I bashed Aaron Rodgers, and then the next day, Bo Hosser FaceTimed me. He was with Aaron Rodgers at the Pro-Am, and he showed Aaron Rodgers the video of my Acai Bowl video, and Aaron thought it was hilarious. And I felt – and I, I banged him on the show the day before. Um, I just think we need to really be cognizant. Well, now, you should never be banging Aaron Rodgers. one of the best to ever do it. You know, Joe, he just uh, – it's all about him. It, it, it's just – it's all – he. You're banging him again. Big year for the Jets coming yeah. up. Big, huge year for the Jets. Yeah. I'll yeah. take Jordan. Huge. Huge. <laughs> All right. Good episode so far, fellas. Um, let's keep it on moving. Yes, but I will say just one more time. The 9 o'clock flight leaving at 530 was one of the funniest oh, things I've ever. You swear like this dad, guy was flying to Abu it, Dhabi? You know, you know, it was great. I, couldn't, <laughs> I got in the car and I was giggling about that. Was I not, Joe? I couldn't stop laughing because you know, it's just like classic Mikey B just like, overthinking it like way overly prepared like in a good way prepared, in a good yeah. way totally it's 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 sorry for being prepared if somebody's gonna make that move it's gonna be mikey v the last I person to go by the way how about you tell the other story that i had to go clock into my other fucking job when my plane landed that's i worked tough. all fucking half day when i came back how but, about that I well, and respect but but that has nothing to do that's why you should sleep an extra sure does if i didn't like, get to suppose i missed that flight then Sleep I gotta in. call my boss and say I fucking missed the flight. Mike, you are that is true. That is, you, that is actually true. Let me tell you, you know, something. Bob doesn't care. <laughs> yeah, no, no, get <laughs> out of here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shame. Let me Shame. tell you, Mikey. You could have slept another two hours and you would have made it to that office. That's that so oh, oh, you could have slept. Oh. I'm just saying, it's it's crazy. But by the way, respect. My dad would love that. My dad would absolutely love that. Ladies and gentlemen, this episode of the Brilliant Um Show is brought to you by BetterHelp. BetterHelp.com. Whether you are in a funk in your life, you need somebody to talk to, somebody to help you get back on track, BetterHelp.com is the place to go. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional additional charge. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash BDS today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp.com slash BDS for 10% off your first month. Go over to betterhelp.com, get everything back on track and do it the right way. Talk to somebody today, betterhelp.com. All right, fellas, let's keep it moving on. Uh, we got the buy or sell segment of the show. What did you see in the week that you liked? What did you see that you not like? Mm. I would like to go first because I have a feeling one of you guys are going to say myself because it's the most obvious sell maybe in the history of the buy or sell um segment can i start yeah. i am selling the nba all-star game we oh yeah that was terrible that. <laughs> it's just such an obvious I, I i don't even need to describe how pitiful this game is a, a clip circulated of kobe bryant talking about years ago um, rest in peace about the all-star game and how fans want to see how cool it would be to see the greatest pickup game in the world. I don't remember when Jordan would play in the all-star game. You guys probably do. If it was better then, I would take it that it would be, but oh, the all-star games used to be great. Yeah. Be great and I don't, I don't really remember that. Or at least like, you know, I, I maybe when I was early days, like they would turn it on in the fourth quarter, at least, um, what an absolute disaster. We tuned into it um, and just, oh, it was my despicable. God. It I really mean, they're was. They're chucking threes from half court every time they come up. It's it's comical. They need to stop it, is what they need to do. Just stop it because it's embarrassing. It's bad for the sport. I will oh, say the one the NBA is already on life support. I, I think it's almost unwatchable to begin with. I mean, that's just insulting and throwing salt in the wound. The one thing that baseball does really well is the All Star Game because it actually means something. It's true, and yes, I do. think that other other sports could take that into account and maybe implement that to some degree because that that will in and of itself motivate the players to start playing because they don't give a shit out there. They're so just important. laughing. They, they they don't give a shit. But you you incentivize it even a little bit for that home advantage for the final and you know that extra playoff home game. Uh, I think that that's. Enough. I think the MLB stopped that though. I, I don't think it's. Did they I don't really? think it's home field in the World Series Did they? Anymore. Did yeah. they really? Yeah, I, I, I don't believe that's that? the case anymore. I thought that that's what they did. I don't believe so anymore. 
I don't. Well, they, by the know, way, and they Joe, banged themselves because that was a good thing to do. You're right. It's such a simple thing. Yeah, they that. got rid of that rule. I just oh, I just that's it. terrible. That's awful. Yeah. That was a great rule. <laughs> I, I agree. Joe, Joe's so right. And by the way, if they did the All Star game, if they did that where you just get home court for the finals. It's still, it's not like it would be do or die. Same thing when baseball did it. It wasn't do or die, but it was enough to make them play pretty damn hard. And if you incentivize it just a little bit, I think it's a really simple well, what fix. What about this? Why don't you take away the play-in tournament? And for the All-Star game, the winner of the All-Star game, they all make extra money. Why not do that? Joey, they're already given half a million dollars. For I, I said they already. should do a. I said they should do a big purse, and then they the winners split. Yeah, it the winner. The winners. The get, problem I mean, is, is the guys. Starts, the guys playing in that game make so much money already. Like, what kind of a purse are you going to put together that's going to be substantial enough where they're going to give a shit? But Mikey, they to Joe's point, they did it for this plan, and they cared. You no, could tell by that. the reaction. Yeah. No, to yeah, where? playing. What's the what's the purse for that, Joe? For each guy? half a million, half a, yeah. million. a guy, yeah, yes. yeah. Guy. Yeah, see, are they going to do that again for the All Star game? I don't know. I guess no. Would. I'm saying I would rather take away the playing tournament. It was ridiculous. Oh yeah, I and it doesn't change anything. I agree with that. And then make the All Star game the winner of the All Star game. That. Each I... player gets half a million dollars. Yeah, well, actually, that. they probably have more. I mean, it's 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 just it's it will at least give these these guys could go out and buy some a Lamborghini or something after if they win the game. Like, I mean, who knows? Yeah. Yeah. Or, I, I just think it would or, motivate them a little bit. Yeah. Or they could have. No, no, I, was, like I'm not every day. I, I was going to do it and I backed off because I saw. Well, just thing. go ahead because I knew it was coming. As <laughs> as 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 or, or, or they could. Or they could. I knew he was going to go. Just fire the shot, Bob. I, I, you already, I, cocked, I, you already I, cocked the <laughs> hammer back. Just pull the trigger. Go ahead. Go ahead. The hammer's cocked. Pull the it's trigger. Like this, Michael. It's like this. It's like. I know. I know. I'm not going to. Go. What is it? He put, he, it's like well, Joe did it. Like Joe, the, did, Joe just Mike, Joe did no, the you know why? Because he put the he put the face in Michael's gun and he didn't pull the trigger. He did. So the guy's already he's already on life support. That's okay. Right. All right. Respectfully. Um. Uh. Okay. Joey D. Let's send it over to you. I'm gonna buy this week. Um. And this is something that um in the past I've enjoyed, but I'll be honest. For a long time, for for quite some time, I really have not watched to the extent that I did this weekend and I thought it was awesome. I thought it was enjoyable um, to even place a wager on. I thought it was, it was great. It brought us together as a, as a group two weeks in a row. Now the English premier league, I thought placing a group wager, even on teams that we did not follow, did not care. We're not fans of, I thought it was awesome. I thought from start to finish, it was exciting. We did multiple games. So it wasn't like we had a one-off game that was just really good multiple games. I, I got to be honest. I thought it was awesome. I, I really enjoyed And it brought me back to like, you know, back when I used to watch a hell of a lot more soccer than I do now. Um, and I think if you could get past the fact that some of the games are on earlier in the morning, I love that. It I'm was anyway. awesome. It was, it was so enjoyable. And by the way, it kickstarted the day off beautifully. Um, just that first early morning, little hit, um, a little I, I coffee, it was, oh, a little coffee, little breakfast. Yeah. Um, I, I thought it was great. I really enjoyed it. And to be honest, I, I think I need to start watching some more English Premier League. Um, that's my buy of the week. I, I really, really enjoyed it. Great I know I, I, yeah, it is. I know I banged us, and I'm sorry about that. And I don't disagree with that. But I will say it's really my first time diving into soccer. I really, really enjoyed it. I, I mean, it, it was a fun. I, I think I, I wonder like if I would have as much fun watching it by myself. I think watching it with you guys made it a lot of fun. I think that yeah. maybe that's anything, but I, I agree with the buy. I thought it was a lot of fun. Well, that's the same thing. If you watch a football game by yourself as opposed yeah. to watching it with the boys, it's always going to be a little bit less appealing, but I do think if the digest were to reconnect over a morning game one day, I think we'd still have a lot of fun with it. By the way, Digest once once back. we're lined up in the coast, especially once sure. everyone. Oh yeah, coast. the East Coast time that's going to change a lot. Di- it is, it's but di- Digest as a whole is hot. Gambler's Digest, Horseman and back. Digest are back. Uh, Horseman's yeah. back too. Horseman's yeah. back too. That that's with yeah. the three of us and Perez for reference. Um, there, that's so correct. Horseman's very much back. Mikey, we'll send it over to you. Yeah, I'm going to have an obvious buy. I'm going to have an obvious buy. I got to be honest. Um. 
my attention and investment had not been there in the past, but I'm fully invested now. The NASCAR experience. I'm going to buy NASCAR. And I know people are going to say, well, you're buying NASCAR. I mean, you look like no. a walking billboard. I got to tell you, I enjoyed every, and I know we got the short end of the stick. And today was a gorgeous day in Daytona. It was like 70 yeah. and sunny as soon as our planes departed. Sick. But I'm going to say this. They couldn't have been nicer. They couldn't oh. have been more hospitable. They couldn't have been more accommodating. They took us around to go look at the merch and and, and let us go in and look and get some stuff. And they let me get, and then, you know, they sealed the deal. They let me get stuff for my kids on their dime. Wow. And that's just like ultra, ultra class. Little dog. Like just class, class, class all the way with NASCAR. The drivers that we met couldn't have been nicer guys at all. Like mm -hmm. they could, I just got to say, like, I'm so bummed that we actually couldn't stay to see the actual too. race. And I hope we get the opportunity next year in NASCAR. If you're ready, we're ready. That's exactly right. And, uh, you know, something that I thought was really funny, we ended up, of course, um, we ended up, of course, going to uh, Ruth Chris with our NASCAR jackets. But to start the whole thing of getting the jackets, the NASCAR rep, who was awesome, took us over to the Mertz the day before the race. And she's like, you know, get anything you guys want. It's on us. Now, when she said that to me, if if somebody takes me into Yankee Stadium and they take me in to the merch store, one of the things that you just kind of know is off limit. You don't pick out the big Yankees jacket that you know is, is the most expensive thing there and leave it to Joey D who saw the big <laughs> he, he, he saw the big yellow Pennzoil jacket. There's t-shirts. There's hats. The most expensive thing on these trucks are those big jackets. And Joe goes. I mean, it wasn't even that expensive, Bob. Joe, it was a hundred fifty dollars. Everything that else jacket, was like that jacket was. They got the discount on it. It should have been six hundred. Michael. Said. Yeah, and the shirts were ten bucks. Well, I'm, I'm going to say this: the merch that you get at a NASCAR event. If it was at an NBA, NFL, MLB event, would cost you five right. times yeah, but, as much. But Joe didn't know the price of that. When he That's also that. correct. That's no, also correct. Headed up on no, the truck. No, you didn't. No, it headed up on the that. truck. You did I not know. You. No, no, you didn't. That's a lie, Bob. You, you said, Joe. I said, I said, Bob, you're so full <laughs> oh, of shit, Bob. man. I said to Bob, I said, I'm gonna get the jacket. He's like, Well, you don't need the jacket. It's expensive. I'm like, it's 150 bucks. And then with the lady at the register. Did when, I not see that? No, I'm going to say Joe, this. When, I don't when, remember when, that. When the, I, I'm going to say this. When the girl said you could get whatever you want, like that puts you in an uncomfortable position. Because like, what does that mean? I'd rather she would have been like, listen, each of you guys, we're giving you each 200 bucks. Get whatever you want. Out of and by like, the way, says, get what you did want. Did the jackets it's, it's, not it's, contribute it's to it's our spot. overall content? Yes, oh, no, sure yes, did. It did. I mean, Without those jackets, we would have been dead in the totally. water. We, totally. The jackets saved our content. It didn't, Although I this don't, is a great t-shirt. I don't know. Uh, look, the jacket. Perez's, oh. Perez's whole video was based on that jacket. I ended up getting the jacket after you got it because then we did see the content opportunity. But when she does tell you get anything you guys want, you just... You stay away. Mikey, if she said that to you and you had the first yeah. pick of the litter, there's uh -oh, a no, prayer no, in no, hell no, no. that you would have yeah, got no. that. Uh, no, once Joe opened the floodgates and she was like, that's, yeah, that's right. fine. I was like, that's oh, right. it. it's fine. It's fine. Totally. Okay, that's fine. Joe, then, I, I asked. And I, then said, I, can I, I, I said yeah. to her, I said, can I get the jacket? She said, yeah, get whatever you want. I think, yeah. I, I, mean, I, I, I'm being painted out here like I just picked out half a truck and then threw it on the lady's credit card. I looked at her and said, is it okay if I get that jacket? If it was a problem, she would have said something. I don't know. I would have known very quickly. Imagine if Joe went over to like the power tools tent, which was there, by the way. If he went over, yeah, let me, can I get one of those chainsaws over there? I got a couple palm trees in the yard. Really and you know what? Trees. You know what, Michael? You know what? Somebody posted on on my on my post today. They said. Cuts just copied Bob as per usual and got the same jacket Ooh. as he does with everything else. <laughs> so I got banged. I as didn't if know I that. Just, oh I, yeah. Oh no, I, I didn't. Did. Know that. <laughs> some, some guy was like, as per usual, cuts just copied Bob and got the same jacket. That's true. When in reality, I was the pioneer who got that jacket. The first. pioneer. The pioneer. The Penzoil <laughs> pioneer. Yeah, the Penzoil pioneer. That's right. The Pied Piper Penzoil pioneer. I will Say yeah. that three times. We got fast, a lot out of those jackets. I have a picture. Peter, the Pennzoil pioneer. I I have a Joseph picture. Peter. 
I have a picture of Perez and uh, Joe at Ruth's Chris at the urinals side by side with their NASCAR oh jacket on. God, it's good. It's so good, man. It's, it's so good. I couldn't stop laughing that whole dinner. Anything like Oof. when we were singing Bohemian Rhapsody on the way home <laughs> and you could hear me tackling in the back because when you're watching joe sing the vocals and mikey with his sun drop jacket it's it's one we're just the <laughs> we're, we're the biggest clowns of all time we really are we're just uh, I mean, such I a circus we're, we're just Every, a unique group of individuals this guy never wants to give us the bad adjective he'll always no. try and say that it's you like gotta it's always put yourself you, you can't put yourself down michael joe, i don't we think suck. we're putting ourselves down yeah we're clowns we, we suck we ate like shit well we people enjoy clowns to the point where they buy a ticket to the circus well i guess so i guess so and with that like comment and subscribe to the Brill of the dumb show please <laughs> <laughs> the last thing i'll say when that when that when the nascar handed that girl that credit card to tell us to take us to the merch stand there ain't a prayer in hell that they were expecting that they were going to come back with an over 700 dollar tab there's just no yeah, way it's a tough bill it's a tough, tough bill, bill. i bet you those reels came back in a, in a real good way bob for them it, i didn't too in your defense, Joe, yeah, yeah, I I think our reels crush. So uh, I, to I the, to, by crush. the way, to the point where I think that there's a little bit of a stirring within within the social media world that we're now NASCAR guys, and there's people talking. I, you know really? what? Really? You think Jim, so? Jim, do you have any messages I got from drivers today asking Good. us to come by the 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 crew, like the pit? They're like, come oh. come to station three or come to garage five. Yeah, nonstop, it's nonstop. It's good. It's good. That's good. Uh, Bob Ticket and I once. This past year, we had a layover in Newark, and we couldn't decide what to eat. We we had mm. to. There's a whole area Char where it's yeah. just like, oh, Charlotte? there's so many food options. No Charlotte? Newark, no Newark, Newark. Newark. Oh, there's so Newark's many food options. That new you, terminal, the Terminal A is great. Terminal A is great. It just goes to show New Jersey. Uh, I said it to you the other day, Mike. I mean, New Jersey food wise, is, that's my number one food place in the world. Because like, that's yeah, right. that's right. You could pick Italy, but at the same time, no, 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 no. You can't get like the sub sandwiches that, that you listen. Like you don't. You don't want to leave North America. You don't. You don't want to leave North. Michael, America. Michael, you haven't been. I to Italy. Don't, yes, I have. I've been to Italy. I went to Italy when I was fifteen for ten days. I went, and I, you, and I loved it. And listen, it? I was young. Yeah, I remember it very well. Um, I feel like if you went now, it would change things. I would love it, but I would want to come home. I'd want to come back to the United States. Of course, I know. But I know. Saying... Well, but that's what I'm saying. I would never want to live outside of the united states i'm not saying sure. live i'm saying from a food perspective oh no no sure but even food wise though i would rather have the consistency of being able to vary it in, in the united states but to me not just the united states i think you would go even further to say in new jersey specifically yeah, yeah. well yeah yeah i mean i think there's other states than new jersey that could provide a well-rounded menu but not many that could that could stand toe to toe not many. i think you vegas is up there no, Joe, not There's even. There's so many restaurants in Vegas, Bob. They have every single restaurant. But but it's all uh big monster chains like Gordon Ramsay and all this. New Jersey, you yeah. can go block to block and get sliced. Fair, that's what I'm saying. Like slice. that pie, that, that picture of that pie I showed you the other day, like I never even heard of that pizzeria. Yeah. And it's up the it's not like it's far, it's in the same county that I live in. I'd never heard of it. It looked like the best pie in the world. That's I gotta go get it. Still still gets Star me Taverns going. Star Tavern is a Star Tavern is a, a New Jersey staple. It's like one of the most well known pizza joints in the is world. Is it really? Yes. It was yes. it's like a Ralph's and Nutley. It's like uh, Pete and Elda's and Neptune City. It's like one of those. So by it's like way, a top, top dog. And by the way, that's not a shot to Italy by any means. When I went no, to Italy with no, Joe, no, no, no. That, that opened my eyes to, but again, the Neapolitan thing I think would wear on me after a while. And then they don't do, correct me if I'm wrong, Joe. How good was that sandwich you had? Tremendous. But <laughs> it was really good. It was at Antico a la Fantico. Which hey, well, Manzano's chain. wasn't too bad, though, was Manzano's. Manzano's. <laughs> <laughs> shout out, Manzano's. Shout out, Manzano's. Um, also, shout out Luna's Woodfire Tavern, the official <laughs> sponsor of the Bill and the Dumb Show. Um, they don't do, I don't think Italy does, like, hoagies, like a New Jersey sub chicken cutlet hoagie style. Nobody in Italy eats like that. Only Americans eat like that. Where yeah. they give you the fucking gigantic, it's, it's obscene. But yeah. that's what it is. Great pasta, though. Mm, yes, it is. Great pasta. Yes, it um, is. 
All right, fellas, here's the deal. We got a very interesting, we got a very fun top five coming in there hot today. Um, really interesting one. What we're going to be doing, this is a suggestion by Mikey and a lot of, I, I've seen it when Mikey suggested it, we've seen it from the followers as well. Not my, yeah, not really my suggestion. I'm just bringing to light. Yeah, yeah. And the messenger. The comments, keep the comments flowing because there's some really good ideas. The top five, why don't you tell them what we're going to be doing here today, Mikey? Well, we're going to see how it works today. We're going to try it today, tonight, for the first time. Um, we've been getting suggestions, and I, I I have to agree that it may be interesting to look at, and we're going to try it for a draft-style top five, wherein there will be no repeats in any of the lists because once the, the thing or person or whatever is gone, they're gone. So it's like a draft. So now we got to put on our thinking caps. Now we got to play general manager, and this is going to – this is going to be interesting. I think this is going to be fun and we'll see how it goes. And maybe we'll do it every week. Maybe we'll only do it sometimes. It'll be up to discussion by the boys. I'm a little but... concerned. About what, Joseph? Just that we're going to lose track of the snake order in the draft. Like, is someone going to be writing no, down no, the selection? No, we're not going to no, lose. We're not going to no, lose. No, it's, it's... Are we going to be writing down the selection? Here's, here's yeah, what it has it's... to be determined is, is is draft order, though. Who's getting the one pick, the two that, pick, the three pick? That was my concern. That well, was the my wheel. Concern. We should do a wheel. We should do a wheel. Mike, I'll, get the you... wheel I'll get the wheel fired. The wheel is yeah. just. The wheel is always just. No Bob, question about it. you got to fill the air here, though, because I got to fill the wheel. I got you covered. But, Joe, you get how we're going to roll this now? Well, yeah, you you just you pick your your top you five. Your guy, yeah, and it'll avoid us. But you need a, you need a designated power forward. That's why it's going to get interesting. Well, let's tell them we're going to tell them what we're going to be doing here today. Um, what we're going to be doing here today? Do you want to tell them, Joey D? No, you're on a you're on a. What, what we're going to be doing today is we are going to assemble our start starting five on all time NBA players starting five. All time NBA players. Mikey V's got the wheel ready to go. So we're going to rock and roll. Now it's a snake draft, too. So, if, Joe, if you're last, you go third, and then it comes right back to you. I'm nervous. I'm yeah. kind of nervous. Okay. We could see um, Giuseppe is the blue block, Roberto as red, and then Miguel is in the yellow. Does everybody see that? Right. Does everybody Miguel's see that? Hard, Miguel's hard to see, but yes, I see the other two. Okay. Okay. We ready? Yeah. Yeah. Spin it. Okay. This is for the first pick. This is for the first pick. Oh, my. Wow. I don't oh, know if you... My. Yeah, I mean, he's got his guy. Okay, so that's the first. Now we got to okay, do second. That's, that's the first this pick. This is fun. This is now, fun. should I eliminate his name yet, right? Well, no. If it goes on me, just spin it again. Yeah. yeah but I don't want to waste the people's time. I don't want to have dead air on the pod because that's not what we're about. We're about an active, moving, going pod. That's what we are. All right, here we go. Roberto in the blue, Miguel in the red. Oh, Oh, don't fuck me, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's no, 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 no. no oh, yeah, you. I want the three. I you want, want the three, the I want three, three. for sure. Wow, Bob in the two hole, Bob in the two hole, Bob in the two hole. Okay, okay. so Joey D, you're you, you GM now. Let's see, you really, really GM this thing, Joey this is D. Great. This I mean, is this great. Is, should be this so. Actually, maybe this it's not as obvious as people think. No, oh, it's oh, obvious. I'm taking Michael Jordan. Yeah, I mean, that's 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 yeah. It was, it, there was another guy there who was so dominant in his position that I almost thought about it, but I, I mean, now, I would who, take a beating so, if I didn't take Michael Jordan. Joey D gets yeah. Michael Jordan and Joey D, what, what spot are you putting him at? Well, he's my shooting guard. Okay. Because remember, they, that's, Don't, then you get, you couldn't get banged on that. He's not a point. He's my shooting guard. Yeah, but I mean, like you could start, I mean, you, no. so you have to, you have to do point shooting Power forward, small forward. Center. Totally, you yeah. Have you to do that. You can't take. Okay, um, okay, okay, okay. You know, okay. okay. You can't. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna take LeBron James, and I'm gonna take him as my strong forward. But I could move him around if need be. You mean power forward? Power forward. Strong um, forward. <laughs> my 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 small my small forward. He's my small forward. Small forward. I okay. I apologize. My small forward. See, but a guy like LeBron, he could play any position. So Bob could. That's really the come beauty of him. I, I, I can well. move him around, Chris. So I have okay. a small forward for now. Okay, so you got him at small forward. No, no, that's where he's got to stay, though. Now, Bob. He's got to stay there. Yeah, he's got to stay there. I can't he switch him to spot. the power forward oh, if no, I want no. to. No, you're picking. Right now, when are you going to switch him? Well, that's the Game beauty time? of Le that's the beauty of LeBron. He can play everywhere. You can't put yeah, him. Michael five. Jordan could play anywhere too if you all wanted right, to. All right, all right, fair enough. Let's fair just enough. stick with what we're doing. Okay, I get it. All right, now it's on me. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to take Shaq. I'm going to take Shaq. Give me the diesel at center. Got my center locked down. Give me Shaquille O'Neal. And then give me Kobe. I'm going to take Kobe. I'm going to take Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant's my pick. What position? Uh, uh, shooting guard. Shooting guard. Okay. Good question, though, Joseph. You're not wrong. Yeah, it's a good question. Okay. Shaq and Kobe reunited. All right. Um, so then it's who's it, Bob? It's Bob. Yeah, let me just make sure I'm gonna get this. Um, I love this, by the way. Okay. Um, give me Magic Johnson at, at point. Wow. That's a great pick. I'm liking my team. Yeah, that's a good pick. It's a good pick. It's a good fucking pick. Joseph? This is picks. awesome, by the way. We're doing is this every now? style now. <laughs> yes, Joseph. Yes. Okay, I'm going to go. He said, is it me now? As if there's, there's only three of us. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to take <laughs> Steph Curry as my point guard. Good pick. Good pick. <laughs> How do you not Ste know? Steph Curry, <laughs> point guard. And then I'm going to take, this is where it fucking gets interesting. Magic, man, that killed me, that pick, Bob. That fucking killed me. I'm going to take then. This is tough. Sure. I'm going to take Wilt Chamberlain as my center. <laughs> Wilt the yeah, still. No, yeah, yeah. The guy's one of the most dominant fucking I, players of all time. I mean, he absolutely is. Yeah, he absolutely I, I, is. I'm telling you what, boys, I'm loving my team. Give me Kareem Abdul Jabbar <laughs> at center. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Kareem By the way, dream. Joe not knowing if it was his pick or not, sickest, as if there's 12. Thing, it's, it's, thing it's one of the craziest sickest things. Thing it really is. I mean, how do you not know whose pick it is? I was looking down. I didn't know if you had back-to-back -back picks or not, Bob. Will you relax? Okay. Fucking sick. I am going to go with, this is going to be a big swing for my team. Connor Big McGregor. swing. Point guard. Oh shit, Connor McGregor, you fucking yeah. jackass. Point guard, <laughs> give me give me Oscar Robertson at point guard. Give me the big O. And then at power forward, Mr. Timothy Duncan. Ah, fuck. Mr. Tim Duncan pick. at power forward. Okay. Really good stuff. Really, that was my pick. Timmy, Timmy D was was my pick. Well, there. magic, magic was I, I was upset with the magic pick. That hurt. Okay. Um Bob, you have to fill shooting guard and power forward. Right. Um give me, believe it or not. Believe it or not, I am going to go. Give me Kevin Durant as my shooting guard. I mean, he was six foot ten. Is he gonna be your shooting guard? Well, I, I could put him. I could put. That's what I was thinking. I could put him power forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, you, you, yeah. Well, you gotta slot I, him in for power forward. Kevin. Yeah, I can't have him. I shooting thought. Guard. I thought. I thought LeBron was his power forward. No, he was. No, he called no, small forward on small LeBron. forward. He did he did? So we'll give him KG. We'll give KG to Bob there. K K KD KD KD. Who'd you Kevin, say? Kevin Durant. 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 Oh, Durant. not Kevin Garnett. Oh, that's my fault then. You, then you could put KD at, at shooting guard. Right. I, I thought didn't you said that... Garnett. I thought you said Garnett. Oh, if it was Garnett. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So Durant for Bob. Okay. Okay. Joe, two picks to finalize your team. This is awesome. Uh, power forward. Forwards. Power forward. I'm going to go with Dirk Nowitzki. This guy just Dirk banged Nowitzki. me, dude. He just banged me. Did he? Dirk, he yeah. just completely. I mean, I got off. I got three point shooters for fucking days, bro. Go ahead. I got Jordan. <laughs> I got Curry, and I got Dirk. Oh my god! And I got Wilt Chamberlain picking up the yeah, board. Who's the last center? Pick? All right, will you relax? Uh, I mean, you, you're going on. You had this whole thing. I'm going to change the board. Yeah, it was a good, good back to back though. Um, and then what else do I need? I need a small forward. Yeah. Um, small a forward, forward, a forward in general. Yeah, you need a forward. Uh, for forward, don't fuck I'm, me. Don't fuck me. I think I know forward. what I'm going to do here. Just fuck go him. ahead. Fuck. Just, just go ahead. Don't do go, it. Go for ahead. And forward. Fuck him, should I? Should I? Fuck just, yeah. just pick. 
Okay, for forward, I'm going to go with Car- uh, not Carmelo. Hakeem Olajuwon. Hakeem Olajuwon. I, no. Wait. Forward, Mike, right? Mike, you didn't have you didn't have Hakeem Olajuwon? No. no. No, you took Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Yo, Joey D stock, okay, man. Okay, okay, okay. I am fucking <laughs> strapped. <This guy. laughs> I, 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 if I don't win this week, I I, I swear to God, Yeah, man, he's got a good team, man. I got team, a man. fucking rounded team for days, man. Yeah, I don't know about that. You don't... I got Michael Jordan. If my if I'm able to finalize this team, and by the way, Hakeem Olajuwon is a center, so I, I mean, but that's he fine. could be a forward. Okay, fine. If he can do that, then I I know my next pick. If that if we could play if ball, you, okay. Listen, if it's up to the like committee, that. if you if you don't want to give him as a forward, I'll I'll take another player. Commit committee approves here. No, it's that's approved. That's a tough cookie. You Go ahead, go. Bob. Go ahead. He doesn't like his team, Joseph. He does not. I love my team. I like love my his, team, but no, yeah, I, I don't it, think it, you it do. hangs in the balance right now. It hangs in the balance. Just give make me big boy. Give me Bill Russell at four. All right. He's going to do Carl Malone. Sure as shit, I'm not going to do Carl Malone. I'm going to tell you who I'm going to do. Fuck. Kobe Bryant, Oscar Robertson, Tim Duncan, Shaquille O'Neal, and last but not least, the hick from French Lick. Give me Larry Bird. I almost took Larry Bird as well. Give me Larry took. Bird. It's a good pick. It's a good pick. Okay, so, so Mike, what's our, so Mike, Mike, lay, lay, out, lay out the teams here. All right, Joseph starting. Michael Jordan. Oh, oh Jeff Curry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my. Double, double towers of power with Hakeem Olajuwon and Wilt Chamberlain. Oh, might not be the, he's might gonna, not be the best moving team. No, ever. he's going to have problems getting down the floor. I got man. Jordan Dern and Curry. Yeah. Dirk Nowitzki, and that's Joe's team. Dirk, Wilt, Hakeem, Steph, MJ. Bob is rolling with Kevin Durant, Magic Johnson, LeBron James, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and who was the last pick, Bob? Bill, Bill Russell. Bill Russell. Okay, that's a Bill pretty Russell. good team. Good team. And then my team, Kobe Bryant, Oscar Robertson, Larry Legend, Tim Duncan, and Shaquille O'Neal. That's a good team, too. It's going to be interesting. That's going to be, gonna be I think... First off, Joe's the draft, team, the draft is fascinating. Though. Joe, it is. Joe's team getting down the floor is gonna have some problems, man. I got Jordan There's, and those I got knees, Steph those Curry. Those knees, those knees. Nowitzki at the three. They better have Nowitzki. the ice bucket ready at halftime. There, yeah. Man. Nobody, They're, nobody's, nobody's out shooting threes from us, and nobody's out boarding us. Let me tell you that right now. Larry Legend. I mean, guy can hit. Guy can I make got a paint Steph out there. Curry. The I greatest. understand that. Three point shooter of all time, and then I got Jordan pulling up the fucking perimeter on fadeaways. I got the dog, Kobe, and, though, and dog. we're not doing anything off the bench, right? We keep it with there like an honorable mention. Oh, no, off honorable the bench. mention will be the sixth man. We should oh, be six man. Yeah, yeah, six yeah. man. Oh, yeah, this, this is fun. Man. This is fun. Gotta do the six man. Gotta do the six man. Um, who who's up? I forget who's up. It would be Bob. No, it would be me. No, it would be you. It would be oh, me. Oh, ah. oh, I got mine. It would be me. Hold on. Wait. Would yeah, it, it would be, be Mike? Michael, then Bob. It would be me. Michael, okay. then Bob. Yeah, it would be me. me. Okay. I got to think what I need here. Um, and I got to also look at who's taken. Man, this is tough now. This is t- this is why the drafts are interesting because drafts are drafts is the way to go. Move. It's the forward. way to go. It's the way to go. Um, you know what? Nobody took him. Nobody took him. So I, I, I think I, I almost have to take him. He was mentioned, but again, nobody took him. I'm going to take Kevin Garnett. I'm going to take Garnett. Give me Garnett. Uh, I'll put him as the sixth man. I one of the most versatile big men ever to play. S- small forward, power forward. I think Garnett could do it all. I I might win my list off of honorable mention. I think might excel me. Give me Doctor J as my okay. honorable mention. Julius Julius Irving. Irving. Sure, sure. Yeah, Joey D coming off the bench. You guys said I have a lot of big men, so big men on my team. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take a quick shifty guy. Give me Allen Iverson off the bench. It's a nice play. It's a nice fun. play. It's a fun play. Could have went Jerry West there. I was contemplating old Jerry West. But yeah. you, How you about a little he... pistol? I like, I like I the pizzazz, and I like a little bit of this, the cockiness that 
that Iverson brings oh, to AI's Joey good. Dawes. AI, AI's a good pick. AI's Yo, a good pick. Have you ever heard Jets bit? And it's not necessarily a bit for him. Like he really believes it. And it's an interesting conversation. Like Jet will always say, like, there's no way that Pistol Pete would have been able to guard Allen Iverson. Or like, there's no I'm way sure that there's not. There's like no way that that Dr. J would have been able to guard Kevin Durant and prevent Durant from scoring like 40. Like he said, the new the new age is so much better. Or like, but that's like saying like Chuck Bednarik couldn't tackle, uh, you know, Tyreek Hill. Like, yeah, yeah. of course he could. It's an interesting conversation that I almost do feel like. Although these guys had to be so good, I never got to see them play. But like. I see what he's talking about. It's hard for me to look at Pistol Pete as much as I love Pistol Pete and those shorts that he was wearing <laughs> and imagine that Pistol Pete could hang with Allen Iverson. You know what I mean? Like, or like Larry Bird. Like, it's hard for me to imagine oh, that Bird Larry Man could. Whoa, Kiki. Birdman whoa, was whoa, one of the whoa. best, Bob. Yeah. Okay. Larry All right. Bird? I don't remember. I don't remember these guys oh, playing. Oh. It's a little before my time. Larry I was so gonna, you, ask, you ask MJ about Larry Bird. He'll I was so young. Thanks. Larry yeah. Bird was a. Dog. Yeah, Larry Bird's a dog. Well, I'll tell you this, fellas. It it, it looks like the snake draft is now in play. It, yeah, it really it does. To be. We'll take a look at the comments and, and see what they say. Um, we're always should just, should just have a uh, bone put up a vote on Twitter and on Instagram once the episode's out. We want to do know, the thing is regular, or do you want to do? Uh, I will draft? say this with the with the snake draft, we could also rerun some of the. Top yes. fives we've done yes, as we like Top yes, five snacks, could. top totally. five chips, top could. five. Because once those hot ones go off the board, yeah, man, you've got to change it it's up. Just got tough. fun. This just got fun. You know what I want to run redid back? We did the whole top five now. You know what I want to run back? I suggested this top five today, and we already did it. Let's do the next one for the snake draft. We do fast food items. So top yeah. five fast yeah. food items. Yeah, I like that. And yep. pick. Lock that in for next week. And I'm telling you, man, I'm I'm out for that Baconator in the third or second or third round would really it's be sleeper. Nice. It's a sleeper. Oh, the Baconator. Oh. Um, fellas, anything else you want to touch on before we wrap up here? No, oh. we. I thought we crushed this pod. I really do, too. So why don't we go ahead and give a nice warm round of applause to the Brown League on the show there, fellas. Special, special up. The show's hot. Um, we appreciate the support forever and always. Like, comment, subscribe. Watch NASCAR. We love NASCAR. To the goddamn moon. We'll see you next week. That's been another edition of the Burnley Dome Show.